I'm at one of my very favorite places, Mama's Happy. This nifty little store is full of all kinds of upcycled things from furniture to jewelry to upholstery and I just love coming here. It really actually does make me happy. I'm lucky enough to be with Amanda who owns Mama's Happy. I know some of what's special about Chalk Paint but talk to me about it. What exactly is it and how is it going to change my life? All right, so it is going to change your life. I'll start with that. So the beauty of it is that you don't have to do any priming or sanding or preparation to the surface. So many pieces of furniture that we're rescuing, these aren't fine antiques. We're taking things that people are setting out by the curb to get rid of okay. or tossing in the dumpster because they don't see any value and those are the pieces that you wouldn't spend the time or energy to try to strip down or refinish uh, but slapping a coat of paint on it mm -hmm. and giving it a new life is absolutely worth your time because it's still a sturdy piece absolutely. it just maybe is not the right wood tone or right. even the hardware maybe just needs to be changed out That's all of that exactly right. okay it just opens up a lot of possibilities and the finish that you get using the paint is so beautiful and it's so predictable so what's nice about it is that you don't have to have skill okay. you truly do not have to be an artist check check okay yeah, so you'll be just fine yeah. <laughs> okay all right perfect and so um, one of the things we were talking about earlier is and I still don't believe you on this okay. but I'm, I'm going to take your word for it okay. is there is no prep with chalk paint. Truly, there is not any preparation. And what's what's great about that is that when you put that first coat on, it is going to adhere to any surface. No matter how glossy, no matter how shiny, it will stick to it. Well, I'm excited. Let's get started. So what we have here is a kitchen cabinet door, it looks like. Yes. Now, where do these come from? Well, you can find them a number of places. Um, cabinet shops many times will, will um, sell or sometimes even give away their sample doors okay. or doors that had any kind of a defect. If it had a defect, that's usually the ones that we want anyway. Mm -hmm. So we'll pick them up that way. Um, salvage yards many times will have them, okay. um, but you can pick them up for as little as a dollar a piece. Wow. Then it's fun to be able to take something like that and turn it into something that has a purpose. Okay. So what we'll do is start with just you know putting some paint on it. And again, I'm not doing anything um, to the to the board before I do that. And the be beauty of Annie's paint is you don't have to have any technique to it, especially okay. when you're doing this first coat. It's just a matter of getting the paint on the board. It's covering really nicely. It's beautiful. It's very. It's a medium bodied paint, so it is very thick. Okay. So many times one coat is fine. I, I tend to, to enjoy putting a second coat on. I feel like it just sort of finishes it, but you will see many times, especially if you're not going over something that's dark, okay. that you don't need to do a second coat. Now, that brush, yes. I've never really seen a brush, I mean, I have a brush similar to that at home, but I haven't seen one quite like that. Is there something special about that particular brush? Well, customers always ask, do I need the brush to be able to use her paint? Absolutely not. Any brush will do. Okay. But is it great to have awesome tools, just like in anything? Yes. I had a makeup artist in one time say, oh, it's all about the brushes. Yeah. So it really is a nice tool to use, the way it puts the paint on. Um, the fact that it is so um, dense with bristles, yes. it holds a lot of paint. Okay. So I usually tell people, if you're just planning to do one project at home, any, any brushes will do. So we get the paint yes. on, and how long does it take to dry? It's very quick drying because it is. there are not sealants in the paint itself. Okay. It is unsealed, and so we'll show you how you use a wax to finish that. Okay. But because of that, it's very absorbent. It dries very quickly. Okay, right. so we'll just let that dry. I'll show you what it will look like once it is dried but has not been waxed. Okay. And that's the next step is the soft wax. Now these edges are sanded, Did you, or they look to be sanded. Yes. Did you sand those down for we the distressing? Did. Okay. And what's what's interesting, I just used a damp cloth to do that. The, the paint wax wipes off so easily okay. when it's dry that you can just take a damp cloth and take off as little or as much as you want. Okay. And that also controls the mess. All right. So I don't know if you notice that there really is no odor to the paint. No, there isn't. So you can paint right in the middle of your house okay. and not have to worry yeah. about the smell. That's great. And so now we're going to do the wax, and the wax does what? The wax is what actually seals the paint. Okay. So when you put the wax on, you're going to brush it on just like you were the paint. Okay. And what's great about that, if you've ever worked with polyurethane where you had to get it just perfect. I have, yes. yes. It's frustrating. It is frustrating. And if you ever get a peel or a, a scratch or a nick in it, it, it shows, and then many times you have to come back and redo the whole thing. Okay, so that's how you put the wax on. And then once I finish, I'll just take a clean dry cloth and wipe just to get any excess wax off. 
And then how long does that take to dry? So there really isn't a drying time with the wax. It's more about letting it harden. It. And so over 24 hours time, the white spirits will evaporate and you're left with just the solid. But when you have the right amount of wax on, it should feel dry immediately. So perfect. I have a painted and waxed cupboard door. Yes. Yes. That's now, what? now what? Okay. Yes. So one fun idea that we have done quite often in my shops is that we will take that and then add a fun piece of hardware and make it into a tray. So in this case, you want to just make sure that you're picking hardware where the screw goes in from the top okay. versus some hardware that's made for cabinets. It's meant to go in the back side of the door and you wouldn't want to have that sitting on your um, this is really great. Where, where would you find something like this? You know, we spend a lot of time at architectural salvage places okay. where you can find old things like that. In this scenario, I was at an estate sale, and Lord knows why, he had boxes of hardware. And, of course, for pennies on the dollar. Yeah. So I snatched it all up with no idea what I would do with it. But, you know, and then... And voila. Voila. Here comes your need. So you just want to make sure that you pick a design that has... Um, the, hard, the screw going in from the top. It could be decorative only or it could be functional. Yeah. Okay. okay. That was easy. Yeah. So in that, you know, few minutes time, you've got a beautiful tray. This would make a really nice gift too. It would make a great gift. That is so amazing. Thanks. I happen to notice that this paint is a little bit more expensive than yes. buying like a semi-gloss or something at yes. the hardware store. How much is, or how long is this going to last me? Like, what kind of project can I do with that can of paint? Well, that's the key. When we, when you first hear the price point, it's thirty-eight ninety-five a quart. Okay. People gulp. Yeah. But once you see that you should, out of one quart, be able to do an entire dining room set. So you could do your table and all your chairs out of a quart. When you think of it that way, that's not a big investment. It's not a big investment. Especially when you found that thing out of I don't know curbs. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we love curbside. Okay. We've got this beautiful tray. Is there anything else you can do, or any other ideas? You Another have? idea especially if we find these that don't have the beadboard in the middle but have a solid so solid panel in the middle is that we will paint the entire door with chalk paint and then we go and get chalkboard paint so this is the chalk paint right Correct. here and Correct. then this is chalkboard paint exactly okay totally different product meant to be written on and wiped off okay and we'll paint the center with that here we've just added a simple drawer pull and that would hold your chalk. Yep. And then one little piece of rope and some um, clothespins could hold notes, could hold pictures. Very cute. And then hang it right on your wall. I love it. So those are two easy ideas. They make great gifts. Thanks. And it's just a fun project that you can do all in one sitting. It is so great. Well, thank you so much for sharing all yes, this information. Thank you for having me. I love these. I might have to take this home. Yeah. Okay. All right. To learn more about Mama's Happy and the projects we did today, visit our website.